Like a bridegroom, he has placed on me a crown. Like a bride, he has adorned me with beauty. These are the words from Isaiah chapter 61 that the priest says as he prepares to celebrate the Eucharist and he puts on his first article of vestment. You heard bride, bridegroom. What is the church saying that the priest is bisexual now? You would say that if you refuse to think mystically. The fact is, in the Eucharist is where we find the entire context of marriage. Listen to the Catholic Catechism, section 1617. The entire Christian life bears the mark of the spousal love of Christ in the church. Already baptism, the entry into the people of God, is a nuptial mystery. It is, so to speak, the nuptial bath, which precedes the wedding feast, the Eucharist. Listen to this, Catholic Catechism, section 2031. The moral life is spiritual worship. We present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. That's from St. Paul, letter to the Romans. Within the body of Christ that we form and in communion with the offering of his Eucharist. Here at the table of preparation, the icon of Christ, the bridegroom. See, the Eucharist, it's not just about getting Jesus. It's not just a token of belonging. It is the whole context for marriage. It gives us the vision for all of life. And we're gonna see exactly how it is the context for marriage. Remember what I said yesterday, make sure you're reading the Church Fathers, the Prophets, the Catholic Catechism, and you're familiar, I mean really familiar, with Byzantine liturgy.